Hi, today I'm making this video to correct something I said in my how to mod a Guitar Hero guitar video. When I start explaining software configuration and I mentioned that Sanjay software didn't work for this card so you had to use the Arduino IDE and a small sketch. I wasn't 100% happy with that because it makes the guitar a D input device which prevents it from working with a modded console, GH2DX and others. Also, I was sure it wasn't an issue with the software itself, as many people use it. And when searching for issues on the internet, I didn't see anyone saying that it didn't work well. So I managed to figure out how to make it work properly and today I'm going to show you how to configure the guitar with this software. First of all, you have to download the software on GitHub. I will have the link put in the description. Then you install it and when it is installed, you will have a new program that's called Guitar Configurator. So open it. You will have this window here and the found devices section it will show here the arduino leonardo card your com port might be different from mine but uh, for me it's com8 so just click on it then hit continue here is the programming window so you have to select which card it is so here you have to select Arduino Leonardo 5 volts. It should be selected by default. And then you click on Start Programming. Now, when you see this message that says Finish Programming, you can start configuring here. And then you will have this little guitar with a bunch of things here. The first thing you have to do is click on change device settings here. Here put direct 0, 1, 2. This should be by default. Same for here, the controller output type X input, guitar here or guitar. The important thing here that caused problems for me as well is the map left joystick to d-pad you have to untick this otherwise the issue i had with this is that it would uh, it would behave as is i was strumming down every time so the strumming didn't work and on my computer it will always uh, go down so untick this this is very important then you can hit close here now it's time to map everything so when you hover your mouse over a button strum bar anything you can change pin binding for the button you selected so here i'm going to change the red fret i mean green it shows this card, which is the real Arduino Leonardo. As you know, the Pro Micro we installed in the guitar is not this, but it doesn't matter, it will work. What I'm doing to configure it is I always uh, push the automatically find pin binding and then you just push on the green fret and apply changes and then it switches to disabled to something here it's two for instance so now you will have to do that for every button
So when you get to the joystick section, be sure to untick map left joystick to D-pad. We already un un untoggled it from the devices settings. But here when I hover over the left joystick, it's still ticked, so you have to untick it. Now you can configure the joystick the same way that we did with the buttons, but as I'm not using it, I will just leave it disabled. For the WAMI bar, you can do the same thing. Just move it when when you after clicking the automatically find pin binding. Don't tick invert WAMI here. And a thing we will have to do is to calibrate, but it doesn't allow us to do it without writing changes first. So now I have configured everything that interests me in this guitar. So when it's done, you just have to click on right here. When it says controller disconnected, it is, I think it's because it reboots or something, but you should be brought back on this page. And if that's not the case, you might be you might be redirected to to the page when you open the software first so if you are redirected here you just have to on the found devices you just have to select this and as you can as you can see the name changed continue and it will bring you back here now that the changes are written you can calibrate the WAMI bar move your axis to the minimum value. So make sure your WAMI bar is all the way up here. Move your axis to the maximum value. So now make sure it's all the way down. Set the dead zone. So here you want to move it back up. And if you want to set a dead zone, you can set a very small one. The dead zone will make that if you push the WAMI bar a little, it will not count. So as sometimes my WAMI bars are a bit uh, buggy and they so sometimes I the game registers as if I pushed it a little while I'm not pushing it. So I always, I always set a, a little dead zone, something like, like that. And now test the value, it should move like this when you move the WAMI bar. Now that the WAMI bar is calibrated, you can hit right again. And the configuration part here is done. So when you open Clone Hero here, You can press space for controls. On my computer, I have different USB devices plugged to my to to it. So the game thinks, for instance, that my little USB foot switch is a controller. If you have something similar, you have to click on assign controller and then push any button on the guitar. And it will say that the guitar is already assigned to someone. So just say yes here. And in my case, everything was already configured here on the controller side. But if that's not the case, you can map everything by hand by just clicking on it. And for instance, green, I push green and it goes to green. But on every guitar I programmed with this software, Everything was already uh, configured here. So just hit on done. And then you can start playing, testing that everything works. 
So to test my guitars, I like to use the way it ends because it starts with uh, sustain notes, so I can test everything. I can see my button work. My whammy works too. If I want to test the select button, I can activate the star power. It works. So everything works. The guitar is configured. Everything's fine. And now that is that, that it is seen as an X input device, you can use it with GH2DX, which is a fan-made mod of Guitar Hero 2 that works with emulators. And I, I know that uh, you can also install it on real hardware. I also played the PC version of Guitar Hero 3 with this, and it works without having to configure or to change anything. So I'm very happy I managed to make it work. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.